Diode wiring is designed to get the motorhome signals from the back of the motorhome to the back of your truck. It's just like when you're pulling a trailer, you have to have trailer lights so others know what your intentions are when you're rolling down the road with the trailer behind your truck. Well, since you've got your truck behind your motorhome, now your truck is blocking the lights on your motorhome. So you have to be able to safely transfer those lighting signals back here. And the diode wiring kit is gonna to help to be able to do that. The way that these diodes are gonna work is they're gonna tie into the back of your taillights. If you are flat towing your vehicle behind your motorhome, it'll take the motorhome signals. If you're just driving your truck like normal, it's gonna take the truck signals. There's gonna be two inlets and one outlet on each of the diodes, and those are for the functions that we're going to be tapping into, which will be our running light signal and our stop and turn signals. This kit is also going to include the seven to six pole pigtail that will connect your motorhome to your truck, and then the six pole plug that is on the front of our truck. If you already have a six pole plug, or you already have your own umbilical cord, or you pick up a tow bar, kind of like the Roadmaster Nighthawk, then Roadmaster Nighthawk will have the umbilical cord and the six pole included with it, so you don't need to pick up two of them. So just pick up the diode wiring kit that includes just the diodes and the four pole wire to run back to them. Uh, the nice thing that, about these diodes is that once you have them installed, you're never gonna see them again. And the way that the four pole wire is run, it's all run through the frame, so you don't have to ever worry about connecting any lights up, the magnetic lights. There's a couple other options out there for something very similar to this. You can get a, an LED sticker that Roadmaster sells. We have it on our website too. I don't really care for those because I don't like to stick anything to my paint or to my light. And lastly, you have the magnetic option, which you have to stick the magnets to your truck and always run a four pole up to the front of your truck to be able to connect it to the back of your motorhome. With all of those different options, there's a lot of modifications to the vehicle that you're gonna have to make that I don't like doing. With the diode wiring kit, all you're gonna have to do is cut two wires in half and that's all that you'll have to do. Everything else is just in addition to the truck. You don't have to make any modifications. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's go ahead and show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, we're going to need to run our four pole wire from the front of our vehicle to the back. You can do this using the frame rail pretty much all the way back until we get to about the rear axle. Then we're going to have to pop out of the frame and, and run it just along with some wiring. So what I did was you want to strip the white wire back from the four pole. Uh, I'd say leave maybe the last four or five feet. I'm just going to ground it to the side of our frame rail here later on. But you'll take the rest of that, what now is a three pole wire run it through this hole on the side of our frame rail. We're gonna run it back through the frame rail, all the way through, and you can use these holes in the side of the frame rail to be able to fish it through to yourself and then run it back to the next hole, fish it through. You can also just run it along with this existing tubing if you want to. I just prefer it being on the inside of the frame rail. It's a lot more protected in there. And once you get back here, almost straight up from the axle, there's going to be an access hole up here where we came out of it, ran it up over top of those lines, zip tied it along the way. You wanna be sure while you're doing all this, stay away from anything hot or moving. And now we have it right here at the back of the vehicle, ready to go up into the taillight, which you can see right, is right there. So we'll go up top now and get that taillight taken out and start tying in our diodes. Holding our taillight in is going to be two T25 Torx fit screws. We've got one here and then one a little bit higher. We'll take both of those out. We'll have two push pin fasteners that we'll have to remove. You pop the head out and you just come in here and carefully pop the base out, set that one off to the side. The top one's a little bit more difficult. We will have to close our tailgate part of the way to get that out of the way. Just do the same thing, pop it out. And this should free up our tail light so that we can get it removed. Pry outward on it. See here our light is plugged in. Pop that little red tab, push on that black fastener, and then pull that out. We'll set our tail light to the side for now. Tested out our wiring functions here and our white wire with an orange stripe, uh, which is going to be, if you're looking at the top of the plug, it'll be your top, uh, this rightmost location. We're not gonna be using this bottom row at all. And then, uh, that, so that'll be your running light signal. Your stop and turn signal is gonna be right next to it, uh, just to the left. It'll be a white wire with a green stripe. Now, we don't wanna just trust those signals every time, so it's a good idea to 
Um, check them yourself, make sure that if the colors match up, great. Um, if they don't, there may be a variance in uh, the manufacturing process or something like that. So just definitely check them and uh, just run through your brake lights and your turn signals in order to get those identified. We'll cut the wires, strip back our ends here. Then what we can do is we'll grab our spade terminals. We need to crimp these on here. You want to twist the ends of the wire so that the spade terminal gets a good bite on it. Slide that over, crimp it down. Give it a little tug, make sure it doesn't come off. We're going to repeat that same process with all of our blue spade terminals on the remaining three wires. Now we'll want to put one of the blue spade terminals on the yellow wire that we pulled up. The brown wire is going to, you're going to have to split it off and we're going to, that's why you get one yellow spade terminal uh, connector. We use that extra white wire that we stripped back from that whole four pole, tied that in because this white wire then is going to have to go over to the passenger side of the vehicle with our green wire. If you need to extend the green wire, I just found another piece of scrap. If you want to, you can use some more of that white. Just make sure you mark the end of it with a piece of tape or something so you know which one's brown and which one's green. Um, you would hate to get the signals mixed up on the other side. So now we can take our diodes and you'll have two inlets and one outlet. We'll put our brown wire on one of the inlets. And then we're going to take our orange or white wire where they're orange. Plug that in there. And then on the other side, the out is going to go to the plug. So you want to make sure that this is facing the correct direction or else your signals will not be correct. So that is our running light signal. We're going to repeat that same process with the yellow wire and the other white with green stripe wire. We've got our wires run over to the passenger side and luckily these are going to be the same wires. So you'll use that same white with an orange stripe for your running light signal and that same white with a green stripe for our uh, stop and turn signal. We've got all that hooked up. What I'm going to do is just um, put the tail light back in temporarily. We'll go up to the front, get that ground wire taken care of. To get your six pole wired up, you're going to need a small screwdriver, it's a Phillips head. You'll take your brown wire, put it in the top one with the lid opening like this. Then go around counterclockwise with your white wire, your yellow wire, then your green wire. To test out your lights, you're going to need to plug your seven pole into either the back of your motorhome or to the back of your vehicle. We're using a tester box in order to test ours today. Start with your taillights, our left turn, our brake lights, and our right turn. With everything working properly, we're just gonna to come to the back of our diodes, peel this double-sided tape off, or the protective film off, take the diodes, we'll stick them together. And then what I like to do is I'll take some electrical tape, I'm gonna wrap all of this up, and then we'll reconnect our taillights and resecure them to our vehicle. Other than mounting up your six pole, uh, we've got our handy little tubes here that came on our Blue Ox faceplate that we're going to mount ours to. But other than that, though, that's going to do it for installation. Well, guys, hopefully this video was able to help you decide whether or not the Roadmaster Diode Wiring Kit is right for you and your 2024 Ram 1500.